everyone for this week's online book and art project we are going to be reading the big umbrella it is a beautiful book that talks about how you can provide kindness and inclusion so while we're reading it i want you to take a good look at the pictures and see how this umbrella is able to provide space and safety for all the people in the book animals included then after the book we are going to be making our own big umbrella and we'll have the opportunity to place people underneath it and animals and all the things that we want to provide space for. Hope you guys enjoy. This week we're going to be reading The Big Umbrella by Amy June Bates, co-written with Juniper Bates. It is a mother and daughter writing team. Okay, let's see. The Big Umbrella. By the front door, there is an umbrella. It is big. It is a big, friendly umbrella. It likes to help. It likes to spread its arms wide. It loves to give shelter. It loves to gather people in. It doesn't matter if you are tall. Or hairy. Or plaid. It doesn't matter how many legs you have. Some people worry that there won't be enough room under the big umbrella. But the amazing thing is, there is. There is always room. The end. There's a picture of Amy June Bates and her daughter Juniper Bates who wrote the book. It says here that Juniper Bates is currently in the seventh grade. That was a great book. Okay, let's start our art project to go along with the big umbrella. As you can see here, I made a demo for us. We are going to create our own big umbrellas and stick some people or animals or whatever you want below it and do some watercolor painting. We'll be using scissors. So let's see what's in our art bag for this week. All right, we have a paper plate um, with some lines on it. This kind of looks like an umbrella right here. Glue stick, watercolor paints, and a whole bunch of paper. Good. Set that over there. And we have some tracers. That's how we got the boot shape that went underneath the umbrella. There's a couple of sizes of those. Okay, got some more paper scraps. Scissors, and mine probably look a little bit bigger than yours. Pencil. And for this project, you will need a container of water and probably some paper towels would be a good idea. All right. So. Let's begin. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do your watercolor painting. You should have a white piece of paper in your bag. You have your watercolor palette and container of water and a napkin, because I don't know about you, but I get a little messy. 
All right, so we'll put all this stuff here. And the way I like to watercolor, especially when you're trying to make it look like water, like on our example was, see how it looks like water, is put the water down first. You can do a bunch, and your, your white paper might look a little bit different than mine. It might be bigger or smaller. And then you're gonna activate your watercolor paints by putting water in it. And then you can just drop that watercolor paint right there on the water and I'll make it have a really fluid water really look like that. Okay, and you're gonna do that all over your paper. Try to fill it up with what might look like rain and water. Then we're gonna lay that aside to dry. And you're gonna take your paper plate and I've already started to cut mine, but you're gonna cut your paper plate and you can either stay on the black lines or go off the black lines. It won't matter because we're going to flip this paper plate over whoop, and use the back end of it. And you can tell the back from the front because the back is matte, so it's not as shiny as the front. The front is super shiny in the light. And then you're going to take your watercolor again and you can color your umbrella. I did red just because that was the color of the big umbrella in the book, but you can pick any color you want. So we'll add water, activate the paint, and just drop some colors in there. And you'll want to paint your whole plate. Okay. So after your plate and your watercolor paper dry, you will take your glue stick and you will rub it all around the edges. You want to get a lot of paint, a lot of, not paint, a lot of glue on there because we really want it to stick. And then you will turn that upside down and you will glue it to your piece of paper. So let's look at that example again. Scooch that out of the way. There, so we're gonna glue it down. And then um, after we glue it down, we're gonna make these little boots. These are like little rain boots. And I chose to do four pairs of rain boots because I have four people in my family. But the beautiful part about that book we just read is that we can put anybody we want under the umbrella. There's always room for all under the umbrella. So you can make as many pairs of boots that you want. In your bag, you have tracers. Move that out of the way. Um, some big ones, some little ones, some medium ones. And what I did is I just traced it onto a piece of paper for one boot and then flipped it over and traced it again for the other for the other boot for the other side. So you'll trace these and then we're going to cut them all out and then you're going to glue those underneath your umbrella. And then I put a face on my umbrella because I thought it just made it look so happy. There are other ways in which we can put people and or things underneath our umbrella. So if I wanted to put some animals under my umbrella, I could. But a way that I could include those animals under my umbrella could also be with some words. So I could write maybe some names. Um, one of my cat's name whoop, is Frank. I could write his name if I didn't want to draw him on there. Frank. Better get a better pencil. And then I could also list some ways in which I could include animals that I don't know. Maybe a good thing to do would be to go to the animal shelter and read to the kitties. So I could put animal shelter on there and that could be a way in which I allow different animals and stuff to be underneath my umbrella. So The Big Umbrella was a great book to me because it showed me that there was always room for other people and other things under the big umbrella, meaning that we can all be included under the umbrella. There is always room. Well, I'd love to see your all's artwork when you're done. If you want to post it or email it um, to the farm, that would be wonderful. I hope you guys enjoyed today's art lesson. Bye.